everybody, it's Pastor Wildy. I figured since it's the beginning of the school year, right now is a great time for me to tell you I really don't like math. Not at all. I never have. It always stressed me out when I had to do my math homework as a kid. And when I got to college, I took the least amount of math I could and then finished. And fortunately for me, pastors don't have to do a whole lot of math. Sometimes a little bit, sometimes some very basic stuff. But I would guess that if you're a fourth grade or above at Salem School, you probably know more about math than I do. And if you don't like math, keep doing it, practicing it. It's good to grow and learn. But maybe you'll look forward to finding a job like being a pastor or some other job where you don't have to do a whole lot of math. And if you do like math, that's good because there are people like me who don't like it and we need you to do it for us. So thanks for doing that. I've got a really exciting verse, though, in God's Word that I want to share with you. It's exciting for people like me who don't like math. Because God, who created the world and gave us math so that we can understand the world and appreciate Him even more, tells us there's one very specific time He doesn't want us doing any math at all. So I'm going to read to you, and I want you to see if you can catch when it is that God wants us not to do any math. Okay, this is from Deuteronomy chapter 4, and this is Moses talking to the people of Israel. Here's what he says. Hear now, O Israel, the decrees and laws I am about to teach you. Follow them so that you may live and may go in and take possession of the land that the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Do not add to what I command you and do not subtract from it, but keep the commands of the Lord, your God, that I gave you. This is God's word. Did you catch when God doesn't want you doing math? Here's your hint. It's when it comes to his word, right? God says, do not add or subtract to the commands that he gives us. He doesn't want us adding or subtracting to his word. Now, why in the world would a person ever want to add or subtract to God's word? Well, it's because our hearts are sinful and bad. Sometimes we hear a command in God's word and we just don't want to obey it. A command like, you must obey your parents, you must obey your government, you must listen to your teacher. And we say, well, I don't want to listen to them, I don't want to obey, so maybe I'll just subtract that command. And I love the rest of God's word, but I'll just take that little bit out, and then I'll like God's word. God says, no, you can't do that. You can't add or subtract. Why would we ever want to add? Well, maybe sometimes we want to force people to do what we like. If we like a certain kind of worship, or if we like a certain kind of thing, we would add to God's word and say, well, God says you have to do that. Maybe students would like to say, God says teachers have to bring pizza every Friday. And the teachers would have to listen, right? If God said it, but he didn't. He doesn't want us adding or subtracting to his word, no matter how much our sinful hearts might want to. And here's why that's good for us. In God's word, he tells us how much he loves us. He tells us, yes, you're sinful. You need help. You need a savior. But he also tells us how he sent a savior. His own son, Jesus to take away our sins, to subtract the sins from us and add them to Jesus, and then deal with them on the cross so that they're gone forever. So I don't know about you, but I don't think I want to actually add or subtract to a book, no matter how much my heart wants me to change it sometimes, I don't want to add or subtract to God's word. First, because he says not to, but even more than that, because in his word is a message I'd never want to delete or subtract from my life. A message that I'm saved and you're saved too because Jesus died on the cross for all of my sins. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for coming to be our Savior. Help us to be faithful to your word and keep all of your commandments. Help us never to subtract from the things you want us to do or to add to the things that you've told us. Your word is enough and it's perfect and it's good for us. Help us to rejoice and and find peace and strength and guidance in your word. Thank you for being our Savior. Amen.